Hi, this is Nate, your neighbor at Arcade and Pinball Talk Guy. We're going to be reviewing Time Machine, where you go back in time by Data East today at Rec Bar 812 in Southern Indiana. Please look for our written description uh, of our metrics under the YouTube video. And other than that, let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first, nice little solid state machine here. Uh, this is actually a fun play. Clipper gap's not too bad. Uh, obviously the setup is left in lane, right in lane, left out lane, right out lane. Very basic, target's going up the left side. Ramp that goes around to time warp right there. Uh, goes all the way around to the very top, drops into your habit trail, comes back to your left flipper. You also have an internal ramp that goes around to the center. Pop bumpers to the middle with some columns. Targets to the middle, ramp that goes around with a lock, have a trail to your left uh, flipper as well, as well as a land that goes around your pop bumpers. Beyond that, that's pretty much it. Art is what you would expect from a game this age. Obviously very high ball out. On this game, it goes real heavy to the left. Uh, art's exactly what you'd expect. Of course, your multipliers at the base, you have bonus, extra ball, two times, score, all the way up, you have your Star Warp shot for Star Warp, uh, and then of course your specials with the ramps, and then of course your Time Warp, you're going through 1950s, 60s, 70s, 80s, uh, and then you light your laser kick, which is shooting up to the lock on the right. So pretty pretty good modes for this game. Setup's actually not too bad, it flows pretty good. It is blocked to the middle, that's the only thing I don't necessarily like of the game. But other than that, it is not bad as far as a shooter. Really no call outs. Very minor, if any. Music is, is pretty much what you would expect from a game of this age. And theme is there, backlash is beautiful. But other than that, not a bad game at all. It is definitely worth a play if you get the opportunity to find it. Uh, beyond that, this scores a 8.6 from what I'm finding out from the multiple games that I've played so far. It's gonna be the 8.6 range. And as you can see, I mean, it's it's got a nice little kind of flow to it. Flipper coils could be a little bit stronger on this to get the ball up there. As you're noticing, it's hard to get the shots off. It just got saved by that stop peg. And of course, we are on location today. So of course, we're playing machines that are, are not maintained at, at for home use only. So as you notice, that just locked there. Replayability of this game is actually there. I actually kind of like the format. Uh, so anyway, definitely check this out at Rec Bar 812 if you get the opportunity or any arcade or pinball spot. I think you will be thoroughly surprised by this game, its play, based off of its age. Uh, but thank you again for watching today. Uh, until next time, it's your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy signing off.